Hiri, hiri, my lords and ladies. It's me again, your honest peasant Hapuki, and this is my personal assistant, Teddy. Today, I'm not your personal assistant. I'm a quality assurance specialist, and I'm here to make sure you're providing our players with high quality information. I'm also here to remind them to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel, or you're not getting paid this month. Okay, okay, relax. You're the angriest assistant I've ever had. So, today we're going to talk about Update 62 and all the cool new features it brings to the realms of March of Empires. If you have any experience in this amazing game, you have probably seen or heard of some players who are using bots and basically cheating in the game. Nasty ass mother f So, anyway, the most common use of these bots is to hit PvE camps all day long. This way they can get a ridiculous amount of high level PV encounter chests. Now those chests have a chance to drop gold and other useful items and by farming them all day long the bot users are able to accumulate a substantial amount of gold and resources. Well my lords and ladies, it is time to put an end to this. That's right my lords and ladies, it is time to rally our forces and kick the bot side in the balls. That's why we are so happy to introduce the new Encounter Reward Points mechanic. So, before you ask, what in the damn hell are those Encounter Reward Points? Please let me explain. The Encounter Reward Points are something like an energy system that regulates the amount of PV Encounter chests a player can get in one day. You can still hit as many camps as you want, but when you run out of Encounter Reward Points, you will no longer receive any chests. Your daily capacity of Encounter Reward Points will depend on your Guardian level. You can see it right here if you click on any Encounter Camp. Let's take a look at the Info section. As you can see, to receive a Guaranteed or Milestone Reward Chest, you need to have enough Reward Points available. You can also see your Hourly Refill Rate. When you reach your maximum reward capacity, they will stop regenerating. Keep in mind, the milestone chests also cost reward points. The higher the milestone, the higher the price of course. And don't worry if you reach a milestone but you don't have enough reward points to claim the chest. Just wait for the reward points to regenerate and you'll receive the milestone chest automatically. Now, let's see how many reward points we'll have on each guardian level and do some calculations. We prepared this table to make your life a lot easier. As you can see, at Guardian level 1 you will have 15,000 Encounter Reward Points. At Guardian level 12 you will have 120,000 points. Now, those amounts mean nothing without the cost for each Encounter chest, so let's add them to the equation. At Guardian level 1, with a capacity of 15,000 Reward Points and Encounter chest cost of 30 Reward Points, we can get 500 Encounter Camp Chests. At Guardian level 12, with a capacity of 120,000 Reward Points and Encounter Chest cost of 245 Reward Points, we can get 489 Encounter Camp Chests. If we're being realistic, hitting 489 camps a day takes a lot of time. If you're a regular honest player, first you need to scroll around and find the highest level camp on the world map. Then you relocate next to it or send your march from afar and after you hit a few camps you need to visit your temple and heal your wounded troops. I tested this myself and it took me almost 90 minutes to find and kill 489 camps. That's because you're a peasant. A professional MOE players like me can do it in 60 minutes. The decision to implement the new reward point system was taken after very careful consideration. Based on our data analysis, this change will affect less than 5% of the regular players and 100% of the bot users. I'm sure you also noticed that we mentioned Guardian level 12 and Encounter Camps level 12. So, surprise! With update 62, the maximum Guardian level will be extended from 10 to 12 and we are adding Encounter Camps 11 and 12. Another important change you should keep in mind is that during World Encounter events, the Encounter Camp's respawn time has been reduced from 2 hours to 1 hour, making it easier to find camps and smash them for points. Moving on to another cool addition that's coming with Update 62, 
the fast rally button and rally presets. We received a lot of positive feedback after the introduction of the fast attack and fast shield buttons, so the game team decided to take things even further with the fast rally button. You can find this button right here at the bottom of the menu of every object that has the fast rally option. First of all, you need to unlock the fast rally preset by clicking on the rally button here. Unlocking each preset costs gold, but if you're planning to be a rally leader, you probably have some. After you unlock the preset, you need to set your formation just like with the fast attack button. When you're finally done with all this, you can start rallies faster and easier than ever before. I think we covered all new features, right? Oh, except one. The new animal companion, the Wooly Yak. Check it out, it's so fluffy, I want to hug it. It kind of looks like a cow, doesn't it? Silence peasant, the Wooly Yak is sweet and charming. It's an assist trait animal that can be assigned to your stone quarry and boost your stone production and gathering abilities. It's a cow. It's a yak. I was talking about you. Feature, feature, feature! Feature doesn't like it when you beat me. Feature. Tell them about the new seasonal content before I kick your peasant ass. Okay, but before that, feature, my man. Feature. Do you know that Lord Igor Plotnikov from Ukraine and Lords Joe Blocks and Rocco mentioned you in the comments under our previous update video? Feature, feature. I think our players like you a lot and they would also like to know your story. If you guys want to know what happened to Fitcha, please let us know down in the comments. If we get more than 50 comments, we will make a special video to review Fitcha's story. That's so sweet. Now, the seasonal content. Yes, my lady. Marching on to the seasonal content. Very soon, sometime in March, we're going to start a new feed season. I accidentally tricked a lot of you in one of our previous videos when I was talking about our achievements in 2022 and our plans for 2023. In that video we showed you an old picture that we used to announce one of the previous feed seasons. In this picture there was a date showing that the seasonal feeds will start on the 18th of February. As I said, there was an old picture so my bad, I'm very sorry about this. The new seasonal feeds, however, will actually start next month in March and we'll make sure to announce them on Facebook as soon as we know when. Don't forget, the seasonal feeds will be unlocked only in the realms that have completed all heroic feeds. We are also getting a new Path to Glory chapter after the release of Update 62. It comes with new quests and challenges that you can complete to claim the prizes. And last but not least, the new Encounters theme rotation will kick in soon after the release of the update. This time, the brigands will invade the realms and will have to smash their camps to retrieve the treasures they have stolen. And let's not forget the St. Patrick's celebration that will start on the 13th of March with a festive event shop. Like always, you will have to participate in time-limited events to gain event shop currency and use it to acquire the items you desire. Before we wrap things up, I have a bonus newsflash for those of you who are still watching. Your generous community manager is planning to organize a St. Patrick's Community Challenge for you on Facebook. This challenge will start around the 15th of March, so Stay tuned for more information on that. As usual, you get the chance to work together as a community and conquer the milestones. If you manage to do so, you'll get some pretty sweet rewards. All this and more awaits you in Update 62, my lords and ladies. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the many new videos we'll be making for you very soon. Until we meet again, stay healthy. And march on for greatness.